Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a word stencil or a text mask. So stay tuned. All right, so I am going to bring up my Canva and I'm just make that a little bit larger like that uh, and uh, I'm going to create a workspace using a Facebook post and I'm going to type some word in there so I've added some text happy Friday and I'm using a font called glacial indifference um, if you're going to use a font just make sure it's something that's smooth okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a, a rectangle behind my text like this and I am going to uh, change the color of my font to white and I'm going to change my background to black. And if you have a problem getting to your background, just go to position, go to layers and select the rectangle behind there. And that way you can easily just go into color and change it to the color that you want. Okay. So uh, now that I have done that, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, come to the share button and I'm going to download this um, as uh, a PNG. Okay. Once that's done, I am going to grab my download, put it on my workspace. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, n so I've pretty much now converted it into an image. That's why I'm seeing edit photo now. So I'm just going to click on edit photo now that I have that image selected and I'm going to use the background remover to remove the background. Now just to make sure that the background has been removed I'm just going to go in there and as you can see um, the background has been removed. So I'm just going to go back outside. I am happy with that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download that one more time. I just, you don't have to, but I prefer to download this uh, image with the transparent background and the transparent um, uh, text um, mask. So I am going to download that again. And I just want the second page and I want the transparent background. Now I'm going to bring it back in here on my third page. All right, so I'm going to select this background and I'm going to set that as my background. And um, so here is my word. I know you can hardly see it, um, but I'm just going to close that just a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to place that on top of uh, now you can leave it like this so um, so just to explain um, if you wanted to change the color of the background here um, because black is the color to use when you want to create a text mask um, and use the background remover but uh, then you'd be uploading it back into your design and you're kind of stuck with black but but you're not actually so if you want to change the color of the black to something else just click edit photo and you could come to duo, duo tone here and you can change the color this way so you can change it to orange um, you can change it to purple um, you can change it to any color that you want all you need to do is adjust these two things here um, I am going to leave it uh, at black because what I want to do is um, I want to put um, a purple rectangle behind behind that word and um, you don't have to do what I do you can do whatever you like of course um, now in 
instead of using uh, a rectangle, you can also use a label. So you can go to elements and you can search for labels and um, you can use something like that if you wanted to. Um, but let me show you what it looks like with the purple background first. So I'm just going to bring that behind and here it is. So I'm just going to center that like that and I'm just going to make that bigger to show you what it looks like. And um, so that's one thing that you can do. You can also place the yellow uh, behind the uh, letters. And you can go to position and you can just sandwich that between the um, happy Friday and the purple uh, behind there. And um, of course, let me just make a duplicate of this. Um, and let me just change the background. I'm going to search for uh, party. And this one is good. So I'm going to put that as my background. And I'm just going to get rid of the yellow. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the purple and so that you can see what that looks like now. Okay, now that might be a little bit difficult to read. Um, so that's where you have the option to go into edit photo and you can go to duotone and you can change it to pink uh, or you know another color that you want. Um, the other thing you can do with this text mask is that you can apply uh, a shadow. Uh, and that's the beauty of um, downloading it as a PNG and then re-uploading it uh, into your um, Canva workspace. So you can actually come here, you can click on shadow, and you can apply uh, a shadow inside. And um, you can just determine the intensity of the shadow. So you can see that, um, you know, there's th that shadow is going all the way uh, around. That makes it look really, really nice. Now, uh, of course, when the shadow is um, selected, the image kind of shrinks a little bit. So you have to uh, stretch it out a little bit more. Okay, so that is pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to be the first notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, bye-bye and I will see you next time.